James Nightingale, Gregory Finnegan, decides he doesn't want to wait another minute to get hitched and tells his fiancé, Saint Hay, Kieran Richardson, he wants to bring their wedding forward in tonight's Hollyoaks on at 6.30pm, see our TV guide for full listings. A loved up saint agrees and says that if they scale back on the big day it will help with gathering the money needed to pay for James' little sister, Juliet's, Neve Blackshaw, private healthcare. Wedding planning is soon well underway for the happy couple. However, a conversation between Juliet and her girlfriend Perry Lomax, Ruby O'Donnell, about what Juliet missed out on growing up, is overheard by Juliet's mum, Donna Marie Quinn, Lucy Jo Hudson. Feeling sad, Donna Marie comes up with a plan to make up for all the things Juliet missed out on as a child. Elsewhere, Tony Hutchinson, Nick Picard, receives an unexpected call from his brother, Eric Foster, Angus Castle Doughty, asking him to go and visit him in prison. Tony's concerned wife, Diane, Alex Fletcher, thinks it's time her husband sought professional help to try and move forward from the trauma left behind from Eric's actions. After seeking advice from forensic psychologist, Honor Chen Williams, Vera Chop. Diane takes things into her own hands and takes Tony to confront his fears and visit Eric. Meanwhile, that night, lawyer James receives a tempting proposition from Eric who offers him any amount of money in return for his freedom. What will James do? Plus, over at the McQueen's, Mercedes McQueen, Jennifer Metcalf, throws her new bestie Sharon, Jamelia, a welcome to Hollyoaks breakfast party. But as things kick off, could it all end in tears? The good news that Dr. Sharon has been offered a permanent role at D Valley Hospital is suddenly marred when Sally Street Claire, Annie Wallace, announces the news that the McQueen house has been sold by its owners. Where is the family going to live now? Are they about to be booted out?